Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video here on Watch Wildlife. Um, we are back here with another wildlife photography vlog. And um, today, guys, I'm here in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I'm actually in line to get in Cades Cove right now. Um, and basically, um, you know, I hadn't planned on coming back here until the fall. Colors were good later, like in October. Um, but yesterday, my cousin had a wedding in eastern Tennessee. So I went to that, um, noticed that we were very close to the Smokies and couldn't miss out on an opportunity to come down here and uh, try to shoot black bears because we were just so close that um, it was worth the trip. So I came on down last night, um, truck camped in a Walmart parking lot, as you can see there, um, which is legal. A lot of people don't realize that you can camp in most Walmarts, not all Walmarts, but most Walmart parking lots. I did that outside of the park and then uh, now came into the park this morning and I'm in line right now to get into Cades Cove and uh, hopefully we're going to get to see and photograph black bears this morning. Um, but I have this morning and then um, tonight, this evening, and um, tomorrow morning. Got a few chances for good light. So um, hopefully we're going to get lucky guys, but uh, this is the start of the wildlife photography vlogs back here in the eastern U.S. now. Um, probably start this one out for the first half. We'll be here in the Smokies and then uh, for the last half of this vlog um, we'll be back at uh, Lamb Between the Lakes in Kentucky um, where I, you know, near where I go to school. And uh, so yeah, this is the first vlog back from Yellowstone and um, hopefully it's going to be a good one. So I will keep you guys posted as we go and um, maybe we'll get some bear photos this morning. So as you guys saw, unfortunately, Kate's Cove was a bust this morning. Um, you know, the lighting was there. It was beautiful lighting. That nice diffused sunlight as the sun rose was awesome. But uh, we didn't have any bears out in that lighting, which, um, yeah, would have been incredible if we did. Like, man, the shots that were potentially available there were incredible because of the lighting. But um, unfortunately, didn't see any bears. That's just how it goes most of the time. Um, but I've got all day today in the park and tomorrow morning to uh, hopefully see bears and it's nice and overcast right now and it's supposed to stay that way all day which is perfect for photography obviously you know if we can't have you know the nice early morning and late evening light then we want that nice natural softbox light that um you know an overcast day creates so right now what i'm actually going to do is head over to uh, the gatlinburg area and uh, drive the roaring fork motor nature trail uh, i've heard there's some good waterfall photography in that area but i've never been there before so i want to go check that out uh, maybe do a little bit of photography for waterfalls over there, a little bit of landscape stuff, and uh, see what we come away with. And then uh, probably a little after lunchtime, I'll head back over to Cades Cove. Regardless of whether the lighting is still nice and overcast like this, or if it's harsh and you can't shoot, I'll probably still head over there and uh, look for bears. And uh, basically just going to be driving around the park, exploring, and hopefully shooting good photos. So it should be a pretty awesome day. Headed over to Gatlinburg now, and I will keep you guys posted as I go. Alright guys, so I've made it to Roaring Fork now and um, parking was a little bit of an issue here. I've had to park pretty far down the road from where I actually wanted to shoot. The lighting has gotten a little bit harsher than I'd hoped. It didn't stay overcast like the forecast said, but um, there are still clouds in the sky. So, you know, occasionally we are getting that nice soft lighting that, you know, allows for shooting. So hopefully that's going to happen here and I'm going to be able to take some waterfall photos. So guys, I'm down here on the Roaring Fork doing a little bit of location scouting and uh, I think I get some really good waterfall shots here. So excited, I'm gonna go get the camera gear now, come back down here and uh, hopefully come away with some good shots.
total bust, um, besides the one bear that I didn't even see, I was just told it was out there a few seconds ago, saw nothing else. Deer, that was it. So, basically a total bust last night, um, but I'm back in Cades Cove now this morning. Um, it's been raining all morning, basically, and it's overcast. This is my last time in the park for this trip, head back uh, to school after this, so hopefully this morning we're going to actually get lucky and get some bears. So I'm going to keep driving and see what I can find. As you guys saw there, went to Cades Cove again this morning. Um, very moody, very cloudy and foggy um, with the rainstorm that we had last night, but um, saw some bears finally and got a really up close encounter with a mother bear with two cubs of the year. So that was awesome. Um, didn't really get any great photos. They were too close to get out of the car and get on a nice low angle to shoot them. So didn't really get any great photos, but I do think I got some good video there. Um, and it was just awesome to at least finally see some bears while here and be able to see them up so close. You know, they were literally like right outside the car door um, when they walked by. So that was pretty awesome um, and pretty happy with that. All right, guys, so I'm now back from the Smokies and um, it's been actually a while now. It's been a few weeks. I'm actually already coming up on my next smoky strips um, later in the fall. Um, but going back out to LBL, finally. I've just been way too busy for the past few weeks. Wanted to go out sooner, but just been busy, um, you know, getting schoolwork done, getting the website launched. That's now up. Um, calendars are up for sale over there, 2022 calendars. So if you're looking for one of those, you can check that out on the website. And by the time this video goes up, prints might even be for sale over there too. So that'll be linked down below. Um, but been getting all that up and running. I've been very busy, so I haven't had time to go out and shoot. So it's been a while, and uh, like I said, I've only got a few weeks now left until fall colors are going off, and I'm going to be heading back to the Smokies. Um, but we're going to spend the next little while shooting here at LBL until then, and um, hopefully getting some shots out there. So I'm heading out there right now, guys, and uh, first time back at LBL um, since, you know, we arrived back from Yellowstone, and um, hopefully we're going to come away with some good shots. But as you guys know, as always, I will keep you posted as we go. and the sun is starting to set um, still got about maybe 40 minutes of daylight so I'm gonna get out here and uh, kind of let him get used to me because they're very skittish animals and um, hopefully after he acclimates some um, I'll be able to move in close enough to get some photos of him so um, that's what I'm gonna do hopefully that's gonna work out um, like I said they're very skittish so we'll see but I'm um, gonna give it a shot and uh, maybe we'll get some photos here to close out this vlog this will be the end of the vlog um, tonight because uh, in a few days, I'm heading back to the Smokies to uh, shoot elk and bear there in the uh, fall colors. So uh, that'll be in at the end of this vlog and then we'll move into that vlog. So I'm gonna get out now and uh, see what photos I can get.
So guys, I'm pretty happy with the photos that I got of that heron. Um, the lighting became really nice, got some nice pink and purple hues in the water. And I uh, really just ended up turning into a pretty nice scene there. So I was able to get some good photos of him. And um, with that, guys, I uh, think that that is it for this vlog. Like I said, you know, I'm going to the Smokies here in just a few days. Hopefully photograph bear and elk in the fall color. Um, the fall colors haven't quite come out here yet, but up in the higher elevations in the mountains, um, they'll definitely be further along. So uh, that's the hope. I'm heading up there this weekend. I know this vlog wasn't as quite as exciting and as big as, you know, uh, like the Yellowstone vlogs were, but, uh, you know, that's kind of expected. I was in the greatest wildlife photography spot in the lower 48 at Yellowstone. It was hard to make a bad photo. And uh, here, it's a lot more challenging. So the vlogs won't be quite as, uh, you know, exciting as the ones in Yellowstone were um, because we're dealing with herons, not grizzly bears. So overall, I still think that it was a successful vlog and um, I'm pretty happy with uh, the photos that I got in this one. So um, with that, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already, please do not forget to like and comment down below. Let me know what you all thought. And remember that I now have my website up and running. That'll be linked down below and I'm selling 2022 calendars over there on the website um, for the next few months um, up until the start of December. So you can get yours over there now. It's a great way to support the channel if you're interested in that. So that would be much appreciated. And uh, most importantly, as always, please do not forget to subscribe to be entered for the 1000 subscriber manatee swim giveaway video. With that guys, I think that's all for this video and I will see you all in the next one.